Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, greetings, good day, and welcome back to Let's Play Scratches, the Director's Cut Edition. I think it's been quite a while since I've said that. So, as you all should remember, we are in quite the predicament, as we've discovered somebody, or I dare to say even something, could be inside Blackwood Manor was the entire time right below our very feet. The question is, who could it be? It doesn't fit at all into what we've found out so far. This new piece of puzzle is unrelated to the puzzle I've already assembled. However, that is not the only issue. We have an even bigger problem. Jerry, our best friend, is on his way. He will be arriving here in a few hours, without a doubt. So. Will we be able to discover the secret of Blackwood Manor after all? Or will Jerry take us away and we will have to forget about all of it forever? Hmm. Not all hope is lost yet, thankfully. We were finally able to step into the good old outdoors again, since it stopped raining, and the key we found a while ago was able to unlock the garage. I have no idea what I could find in there. That is another big problem at the moment. I don't know how to proceed, how to possibly discover something new. None of these items are useful. I have two matches left, keep that in mind. Maybe something inside the journal? Nope, no new entries. Michael is still trying to be optimistic. Well, I guess trying to be optimistic is still very important, after all. This could be our final day within, or in this case, around the Blackwood Manor. Now then, time to enter the mysterious garage we found at the beginning of this adventure. Mm. A strong smell of aged oil was infecting the barn-like garage. Here we are, one and all. Let's have a quick look around. Oh, isn't that cute? Even though I am not into cars, like I mentioned at the very beginning of this Let's Play, old models like this one here fascinate me. <laughs> so, this must be the car of the Blackwoods. Well, we are in the 70s, so they probably bought it sometime during the 50s or before that even. Hmm. Now, what secrets could this place hold? I guess there's only one way to find out. The first 90 degree turn didn't reveal a lot, only a whole bunch of junk, but maybe there's gold buried beneath the rubble. A new area wants to be explored and examined. Let us begin with the left corner, obviously. Hmm. Once again we have a barrel and <laughs> an old bicycle. Good lord, this thing is rusty. Hmm, is there anything special about it? There was an old and dusty bicycle in the garage. It seemed to have some sort of device attached to it. Oh, really? There's a device attached to it? Where? Are you talking about this thing back here? Hmm. Looks like a very old dynamo to me. Is that really something special to you, Michael? It powers the lamp. Then again, um, I don't know a lot about electrical history, so who knows when these things were invented. Maybe this is something completely new to Michael. Can we do anything with it? Hmm, it powers the lamp. Certainly what I expected it to do. <laughs> but I've got no idea. Has Michael really never seen one of these before? And what's down there? A small crate. Hmm. I wonder if I could open it. A small crate was sitting near the bicycle. Not um, without the proper tools, obviously, so I guess that's about it we can do with this corner for now. Hmm, time to check out the tables. It's interesting. I feel like I don't have to be afraid of anything at the moment. I guess my resistance to fear is growing little by little. That's something useful. Now, what do we have here? This is not even a table, it's just an improvised structure, made out of wooden planks and such. And there seems to be nothing that could come in handy. Just empty canisters of all kinds of chemicals, I presume. Well, moving on to the, um, <laughs> workbench, if you will. God, this is a dark place. We got a stool, 
old rusty barrels of presumably oil, that's where the stench comes from. Is there anything of use? Hmm, canisters, all kinds of random garbage, and a toolbox. Maybe something is inside of it. I could use something to break down a wall. Then again, would it really be wise to find the person within Blackwood Manor? It could be dangerous. <laughs> Jesus Christ, listen to how freaking calm I am. There is somebody inside Blackwood Manor and Jerry is on the way. Yet here I am calmly talking about things. Home dum de dum I have all the time in the world. La di da. It is time to get on with it, I know. What's inside this toolbox? I need something helpful, not more gibberish. Let's see. Um wrenches. I don't know if they could be of use. Ah, what's this? Screwdrivers? Hmm. Small and handy. Hmm. I can't recall any situation where I would need a screwdriver. But then again, when was there ever a point in click adventure where a screwdriver would not be useful? Let's take one with us, shall we? Goody. Let's see, what else do we have? Ah, pliers. Just like with the screwdriver, I can't recall a situation where I would need to cut something, but... Tools are the most basic inventory item ever in any adventure, and since we are receiving them so late here, we should might as well take everything with us that looks like it could be useful in the future. Come with me, pliers. Welcome aboard. I am sure nobody will mind that they are gone. Nobody will ever enter this garage again besides me. Now, let's take a look at our newly acquired items. Hmm, just a generic screwdriver. Alright, how about these? A pair of pliers that I had taken. Pretty basic, but hopefully they will come in handy soon. Is there anything else of interest? Hmm. Of all the various items lying on the table, only the toolbox on the far left seemed to have a few useful things. In other words, there's nothing left to see besides filth and more junk. That's lovely. Hmm. I highly doubt that the screwdriver and pair of pliers will be able to pierce themselves through a brick wall. Maybe through the drawer in the study. Then again, why rip the beautiful thing apart? Violence is always the last answer to everything. You know how the Doom guy would do things? BFG! Alright, that's the wrong game. Hm. One classy and old automobile. Still. I didn't want to get very close, as it gave me the strange feeling that something was about to jump at me from inside. Huh. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Now I feel a little less safe in here. But seriously, what could be inside this old car? I was kind of hoping to find a charged car battery. Well, that would be lovely. It's an axe. Michael, it's an axe. Are you blind? Look, it's an axe. It's an axe. It could be useful for plenty of things, even though you're not good at chopping wood. Pick it up. It's an axe, Michael. Oh, Mr. Arthur, your logic baffles me. If this was Silent Hill Downpour or Dead Rising, you would have already picked it up to prepare yourself for... Well, come to think of it, this is not meant to be used as a weapon. Am I thinking too far ahead already? Oh my. Maybe I am still as paranoid as before. <laughs> Now then, is this it? Is this everything we can find within the mysterious garage? I guess James or somebody just locked it up at one point, took the key upstairs and left it there. Hm. The only thing that still raises my curiosity a little is this small wooden crate. I feel like I could be able to open it, but with what? The hammer? Mm, I doubt it, but let's give it a shot. Nope. How about the... Oh yeah, this is gonna work. Try to freaking open a wooden crate with a kitchen knife. Yes, a fail. <laughs> As expected. Looks like this is about it for the moment. Hm. I am honestly a little disappointed. I was expecting to find something better than just tools. Maybe that is what happens to your mind after discovering a murder and other gruesome things. You expect every new area to be full of evidence. In any case, what should I do now? What would be the next logical step? Blackwood Manor? Where is your mystery hidden? I couldn't find anything inside of you. 
So could it be within the forest? Is there really no other way around it? Do we have to inspect the forest at long last? I mean, what am I possibly expecting to find inside of it? <sighs> well, yes. I remember to have seen a mausoleum-like structure on one of the pictures the maid took. <sighs> well, that's just amazing. A crypt of some sort inside the forest. What am I expecting to find in there? Other than, you know, dead people. Do I really want to disturb the rest of the dead? You know, Catherine's body was never found. That's what I assumed since the article didn't mention it. But what if it was found? What if they dug her up and she is now resting within the mausoleum? She already suffered enough. Wouldn't it be a sacrilege to disturb her in death? And also, let us not forget her son. What if... He is resting inside the mausoleum. <sighs> oh, good lord. What am I doing? Well, I've sinned so much already. I have disturbed the peace of the manor. I have disturbed the peace of the mask. Of whatever is within the basement. And now I want to disturb the peace of the dead. Well, it's not like my list of crimes can get much longer. I will be damned for all eternity. Uh, well then, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is something that some of you have been waiting for. The forest. Oh, and once again, let me remind you, I descended out of that freaking window there. That was insane. Also, let me remind you of why I hate forests so very much. They are huge open areas, and in horror scenarios, anything could attack you at any time from any direction. Afraid of monsters, had a forest, and oh my god, I will never forget it. Does anybody want me to let's play Afraid of Monsters at one point in time? Leave a comment. <laughs> what am I getting myself into? Oh well. I've postponed enough time as it is. We need to hurry up. <sighs> time to enter the forest. No need to delay the inevitable any further. Now, we have two paths. This one looks a little bit more scruffy, like nobody ever took a lot of care of it. But this one looks like a little path, and these two red flashes could almost be an entryway. <laughs> also, there is another way behind the kitchen, as far as I remember. Hmm, 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 hmm. hmm. I am always so very useless when it comes to deciding between two things. My assumption is that the path behind the kitchen and this one could connect to each other. That would be helpful. It means that I wouldn't have to go past the basement anymore. But I am feeling more like the red bushes. This path just, whoa, seems a little bit more man-made. And yet it just sort of ends. Leads into nowhere. <laughs> oh great. Is there something in the distance? Hmm. I feel like the wind is either trying to calm me down or trying to scare me. And neither is working because I am naturally afraid of the forest. You don't need to add anything on top of that. Alright. Time to be brave. There is something in the distance. I want to check it out. Whoa, what do we have here? There is a building over there. And it was here ever since I arrived at Blackwood Manor. But I didn't know. Huh. What could be inside? Hmm, this is where I came from, right? So, wait a minute. There's another path? Then where did I come from? And where does the other path go? What's inside the building? Could it be the final piece of the puzzle? I'm getting very curious and confused now. Hmm. What's over here? Let's see if I can carefully avoid these leaves. Oh ho. A gigantic dead tree surrounded by lots of more lively looking trees. Talk about a bad omen if I ever saw one. <laughs> Approaching this thing might bless me with several years of bad luck. 
This can't be a coincidence. I shouldn't move too far away from the mansion, but my darn curiosity has the best of me once again. <sighs> what a sad picture. This tree perfectly represents all the misery that the Blackwood family had to endure. <laughs> and oh, you see that over there? That black opening between the trees? That's what I'm talking about. Who knows what could be over there? And there's no way in heaven or hell that I'm going to find out. Instead, let's see if Michael has to say something about the tree. Probably something depressing. Here we go. <clears throat> A grey and naked tree was standing on a small knoll, crowning an otherwise bare area, with its thin branches slowly swaying in the gentle wind. All of a sudden, I began to feel very alone. <sighs> oh, poor James. What must it have felt like to see all of his loved ones die, one after the other? First his son, then his wife then slowly going insane. I wonder what James' connection could be to the mysterious person inside the manor. Did the person arrive before or after James disappeared? And what could be his connection to the person? Hmm. Of course I have my own little assumptions, but I'm gonna hold back with those until I can find evidence that is either touchable or readable. Now what do we have here? It's like a little pond. There was a small pool of water below the arching tree. <laughs> Nothing of interest, really. The entire tree is just one big symbol of loneliness. I'd say we should not disturb its peace and rest any longer. Time to get back on track. Jerry is not gonna stay in Rothbury forever. Michael? It is once again time to be brave. I want to know what that building is all about. In Shish there are so many plants and trees. The leaves could be a roof. <sighs> now then. Here we go. All alone, surrounded by Mother Nature. Judging by the old looking glass, this could be a forgotten greenhouse. Interesting. Now why would the Blackwoods need a greenhouse? Didn't they have a garden right next to the manor, even though by now it is rotting away? Maybe they wanted to raise some unique plants. And shish, this is a foggy area. Hmm. In all honesty, I still don't really feel safe about being out here in the forest, but it is a thousand times better than the seemingly cursed manor. Now, <laughs> look at all these fancy metal bars going on. The Blackwoods invested a lot of money. Hmm, I can see a tree and I think a stairway through this glass door. Well, a partial glass door, but I'd be amazed if this would simply open up. It looks so very old and rusty. Let's see. Uh, of course, the door to the greenhouse was stuck, probably due to some serious rusting of its hinges. Was anybody expecting anything else really? It is one of the new areas of the third day and we cannot enter it. Bugger. Well, I do have an idea as to how we could open this door up, but first of all, is there anything else hidden around the greenhouse? Hmm, doesn't seem like it. There could be a piece of the puzzle inside. And how could we open up the door? Well, let us not forget, besides the new tools, we also still have our little can, if you want to call it that, of oil. However, for now, I'd like to see what is on the, or at the end of the second path. So, let us quickly head back there. At least it is not a long walk. Now, once again, this is something I feel a little bit more threatened about, because this path really just sort of ends. I mean, look at this. <laughs> it just disappears between two giant trees. Well, alright, they are not that gigantic, but still. Here's the dead garden, and once again, there is the window I climbed out of. 
the eye through the rope out, or well through the hole, and there is the window leading to the nursery, all hidden in the shadows. Now then, we have no time to waste. Jerry is gonna be arriving later. If I find that crypt, then I wonder what he will have to say to that. Michael, what are you doing? Now you're digging up corpses. It's crazy. Hopefully it will not come to that. Checking out the corpses inside the crypt. Oh my god. Well, we will see how far I have to go to uncover the secrets of Blackwood Manor. Now time to crouch down and be brave once more. <coughs> wow. I was not expecting to find something like, wait a minute, this is not the crypt. This looks nothing like the building on the picture. This is an entirely new structure I also didn't know about. Are you serious? A little church? A chapel? All hidden by the trees? <laughs> How many buildings do the Blackwoods have around their mansion? First a crypt, then a greenhouse, those two at least make a little bit of sense, but now a chapel? How ominous. There's even a bell up there. <laughs> Say, even if the Blackwoods were religious people and had a lot of money, did they really need to build their very own chapel? <laughs> well, um, looks like a fancy place. Let's examine the building. Hmm. The same candle or lamp holders as in the tower. big place so hidden and wow this is one big massive old and rusty door screw the greenhouse door I'd be amazed if this will open up time to give it a shot I guess hmm. the massive double doors leading to the interior of the chapel were locked is anybody surprised <laughs> But at least this is something we can work with. It's locked, which means it requires a key to be opened. A key we do not have. Or do we? I mean, we found so many keys already. Can't we try some of them out? Here's the key to the entrance of Blackwood Manor. Yeah, I kind of figured that it would not fit. This is the key leading to the basement. Hmm. Even less likely to work. Yes, indeed. The key to the door in or on the second floor of Blackwood Manor. No, it was the third, but it doesn't matter anyway because it doesn't fit. And the garage key, the most likely to work, but surprise, surprise, it doesn't fit. I guess we can check the journal, but there's nothing inside. Oh, Michael, where are your thoughts when I need them? <laughs> Well, I guess this means that for now we can knock the chapel off of our lists of interesting locations. Of course I will come back here at one point in time, if I can find the key that is. Who'd have thought that there are still so many interesting locations all around Blackwood Manor we need to check out. The greenhouse, the chapel and the crypt. Hmm. But I'm guessing in order to get to the crypt I will have to walk past the basement again. I feel safe out here in the forest, can you believe it? Uh, well, I think this is all we can do for today. <laughs> what am I saying? There's still plenty of stuff we need to accomplish today if we want to solve the mystery before Jerry arrives. I wonder if we will be able to explore, examine and open up every single building. Preferably the other way around. First open them up and then examine them. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've stumbled upon something big here. It is not yet over, like I already said. When we'll come back with Let's Play Scratches, more exploration, getting deeper into all of this. See ya.